Hello and welcome back again to our YouTube channel Excel Bus Testing. Today we are going to see uh, CAPTCHA testing scenarios. So let's get started. Before starting, please like and share and subscribe to our channel so that you'll get updated about testing videos. So let's start with the what is CAPTCHA. So CAPTCHA is one technique from that people can understand what is you, what are human or what are the uh, computers which are handling the softwares so these are basically tools which can be used to differentiate between the real users and the bot so for security purpose this captcha is used for so many softwares nowadays so these are a few types of captchas which we see in day-to-day -day lives like first one is regular text-based captcha next one is image-based captcha third one is 3d captcha then maths based captcha then this is some image and this is tiktok capture so let's check out all the test scenarios of these captchas one by one first one is text based capture you are seeing these captchas then these are text based capture so let's let's check the positive scenarios one by one validate the captcha as per its functionality so so what is that M means what whatever is text is given in that captcha you enter as it is and click on validate and check whether it is working properly first of all whenever you are writing the test scenarios always start with the positive scenarios and always start with the what is function function what whatever functionality is there that you should start first then click on refresh button then check if the refresh button is working or not then click on audio button and check whether correct captcha is audible or not then click on help or sign question mark sign if it is there then uh, check the case sensitivity small what, wherever small is there you write small then wherever capital is there you write capital check whether the captcha can be readable by normal eyes uh, these all all are the positive scenarios of the text-based captchas. Then we'll see negative scenarios of text-based captcha. First of all, first of all, you validate for incorrect captcha. Means whatever captcha is given, you specifically write incorrect captcha. Validate until cap right captcha is not entered. You check. Uh, you write three or four wrong captchas, and then write. Uh, you write right captcha. Then check whether it is getting validated or not. Enter wrong case sensitive letters. If wherever wherever is capital is there, you write small, or wherever number is there, you write letter. Then read the captcha, refresh, and enter wrong captcha. Then click on audio, listen the captcha, and then enter wrong captcha. Click on refresh multiple times and enter latest captcha. Whether that machine is able to take the latest captcha or not. Add extra space or letters with the correct enter capture. You add extra space in between the capture or first add first or last space of the capture. Do not enter in the text field and click on validate. You simply validate the button, click on validate the button and check whether it is getting any pop up message or not. So let's check out for image based capture. This is one image which you can see in various websites while going through it. So we'll let's see the positive scenarios. Validate the captcha as per its functionality. See here they have uh, they have said verify or click on the bus. Wherever you see the bus, you click the picture. So validate the captcha as per the functionality. Click on refresh button, click on audio button then click on help or question mark sign if it is there check whether all captcha images are visible and loaded properly check whether the title of and the image should be correlated so all these are positive scenarios of this image based capture let's check out negative scenarios of this image based capture so you can check out for the incorrect captcha validate until right captcha is not entered so view the captcha refresh the button and enter wrong captcha means wherever you are seeing bus you try to click on some car so click on audio listen to the captcha and enter wrong captcha 
click on refresh button multiple times and enter the latest captcha you change the captcha and uh, try to enter correct captcha do not click on any image and click on verify and check whether you are able to get any pop up message regarding that so these are negative scenarios of image based captcha so let's see match based captcha now so what is match based captcha they give you some equation and simple equation they give and you have to submit the answer so let's see the positive scenarios of this match based captcha validate the captcha as per functionality you write the correct answer refresh button then click on audio button click on help and check whether everything is working or not check whether all captcha images are visible and loaded properly so these are positive scenarios all these are simple scenarios and repetitive scenarios of all this captcha so let's check out the negative scenarios of match based captcha so negative scenarios validate the captcha for incorrect value so if 1 1 plus 3 is there you write 5 validate until right captcha is not entered you write 4 3 5 8 and then you write 4 correct answer and check whether you are able to submit then enter for wrong case sensitive letters if 1 plus 3 is there you write capital a and check whether it is taking only numbers and not read the captcha refresh and enter wrong captcha click on audio listen to the captcha and enter wrong captcha click on refresh multiple times and enter latest captcha add extra space or letters with the correct entered captcha do not enter any text anything in the text field and click on validate and check whether you are getting any pop up message or not so these are match captcha so let's see recaptcha this scenarios this is also very common captcha while uh, entering into any websites so let's see the positive scenarios verify if the application shows correct captcha you uh, tick on the check box whatever is given and we- check whether you are getting correct captcha or not verify if you check i am not robot and it should process further then let's let's see the recaptcha negative test scenarios so uh, first of all you click on anywhere in the square box and then verify the behavior and then uh, you should get any pop up message or you should not proceed further this only one negative scenario you can catch up while writing the recaptcha test scenario so guys that's it if you like the video please like share and subscribe to our channel we'll bring like these more interesting examples and to help you to write the test scenarios about this so stay tuned and stay updated so thank you so much bye bye